Good afternoon, guys. Welcome home. We're back, and we're back here for like a solid month before I'm away again, and it feels good. We're getting into routine. We're doing things right starting now. It is just about one o'clock Monday. Had a nice productive morning. Been doing some editing, which I have a lot more to do this afternoon, but I wanted to say hello and start the vlog because we're home. Got back a couple days ago now. Been soaking up the weekend and here we are. Spring has truly sprung. And I know I've said that, but then like it got cold again and now it's, it's feeling springy. Gonna make lunch in a little bit. We're actually making some KD for lunch and I'm really excited about it. Gonna be a really good day, super productive. The sun is shining for the most part here. Feeling good, feeling good. Welcome to the vlog. Oh, it's gonna hit. This is about to be the best lunch. Happy Monday. <laughs> Craft dinner, got barbecue chicken on the side. I made some last night and it's so good. Mmm, just gonna cut this up and then throw it in the bowl. Yum, this is a perfect lunch. This is a perfect way to start the week. Nice bowl of comfort food. I do have groceries on the way though, because you know, I've been gone for a week and I need some groceries in the fridge. So we'll do a haul as soon as it gets here. Mmm. Okay, let's do a little grocery haul. Starting off strong, I got some spring herb Italian dressing because I'm gonna make a pasta salad tomorrow for lunch with cottage cheese, it looks so good. I also got this chili crisp because I ran out of chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's. My mom and I have to go soon, but until then I was like, well, you know what? Let's see what we got here. Ugh. Oh my God. Okay, we're not gonna see that today. Got some Cajun seasoning, cause I had run out. Cannellini beans, I wanna make a recipe with beans. Coconut milk, ranch style seasoning for Greek yogurt. That's like a healthier ranch alternative. We got some crackers. I love wheat thins, baby spinach, a cucumber and a zucchini, avocados. I got some strawberries. Thought it'd be nice to have some berries in the house. And I'm also gonna try to make a strawberry matcha because they're so good. And if I can make it at home, it's just giving spring. It's giving the drink of the summer. Cherry tomatoes. I got some English muffins and then I got some eggs. And that, that is the haul. Let's go organize the fridge. Okay, we love to see this. Got all the essentials, got some leftovers. I have some leftover chicken, mac and cheese from lunch. I have a couple avocados that are definitely a little too ripe, but we'll see if they're still edible. <laughs> Eggs, spinach, veggies, a little drink station over here. This is really old, this is probably bad. Then again, I don't know if it does say it's bad. You know what, I'm gonna toss it, I'm not gonna use it. Anyways, this always feels so good. Getting back from a trip and like having the fridge have stuff in it again. Incredible. All right, we are now parking ourselves on the couch to get some work done for the next few hours. Could I work my office? Yes, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely tomorrow. Today, we're gonna be here. But super excited we have a sponsor for the vlog, which is Audible. I downloaded Audible a couple months ago for book club and it is such a nice experience. Like I didn't realize how great audiobooks are. Obviously everybody raves about them, but I had never really tried it and it's amazing. You can be doing whatever and then just listen to an audiobook. It is so nice. Audible also has a ton of really good thrillers if you want like a really crazy listening experience. They have a ton of my personal favorite thrillers, so I'll show you guys the ones that I love. Love The Housemaid, loved None of This Is True. Never Lie is one of my favorites from Frida. Truly highly recommend this one. The Silent Patient's also great. So many good options here. New members do get a free trial to Audible if you go to audible.com slash Tara Michelle. Genuinely recommend it. It is such a nice experience. So great on the go. Link is gonna be down below. Thank you again to Audible for sponsoring the vlog. Now we're gonna get some editing done and then a little later we're actually gonna go for dinner with Sarah. I'm so excited to see her. It's been too long. It's been too long. But it's now 5.50 and I'm gonna get myself ready for dinner tonight. Sarah and I are gonna go to the distillery district. I haven't been there since Christmas and we're gonna go for some Mexican at El Catrine. I haven't been there in also so long, but it's so nice out. The sun is shining and I'm hoping we can sit on the patio. There's no better feeling than the first patio dinner. If you live in Toronto, you know how patio season feels and I'm ready to get it started. We're ready. So I'm thinking and hoping today is the day. Feels like I haven't seen Sarah in so long. I hadn't seen her a little bit before I was in Arizona and then I've been busy all weekend. She was away this weekend. So finally we are reuniting and it's gonna be wonderful. Quick little get ready with me. I'm using Rare Beauty Foundation. It's a tinted moisturizer. NARS Creamy Concealer as always. Fenty Contour Stick in Swedish. It's kind of nice. I get to actually like unpack my cosmetics right now and like put it back in my makeup drawer. I could have done that for the last trip, but I feel like I get to settle in and get into routine now and I'm just really looking forward to it. And I'm really 
gonna put some effort into that because I just I was feeling really unbalanced before Arizona and just really scattered with my schedule and just figuring out how to balance everything but I am dedicated to figuring it out over this next month Ooh, I'm gonna get a new blush from downstairs. I got a package from Rare Beauty last week with all their new blushes and the liquid ones, as well as these brushes. So this one's specifically for this liquid blush. So we're gonna try it. This is the shade Happy. Always a little scared here. We'll just start with one dot and then use this. Ooh, do I like this? Well, yeah, that is so pigmented. I was debating putting on another little dot. I'm glad I did not. I was gonna top it with the other one, but now I feel like this is a lot of blush. You know what, I'm gonna just continue on and then we'll see what I feel. I don't know. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow just to go over the contour stick. This blush, this looks really patchy, I feel like. Or maybe it's just my skin right now. I don't know. It's kind of throwing me. Okay, stop it, just keep going. I'm gonna use this Kosas Comfy Cloud Set. It's just a powder foundation. And I'm gonna maybe just lighten up this blush situation. I think that's feeling better. Yes, okay. Urban Decay Brow Blade is what I've been using lately for my brows, just the pencil side. Just gonna fill in the ends. Using the Tartlet in Bloom palette as always for my eyes. Just throwing on some neutral browns and then the shimmery shade that I always use. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna put on a little bit of this new Rare Beauty blush. It's kind of vibrant, so I'm just gonna do like a little bit. Mostly just for like the shimmer aspect. Okay, get mascara, I get dressed, and then I'm out of here in five. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed, and then we're gonna go. I just realized my top button isn't done. <laughs> I changed and I put on this cute little top that I got. I think it was last year. I just feel like it's so springy, and we are trying to soak up the spring. I have to find another lighter jacket that I can wear that isn't black. So I feel like this doesn't really work, but it's gonna work for today. Anyways, off to meet Sarah. I'm gonna bring my book. So there's flights tonight. Look at this. Margarita Monday for the girls, right? And like we're on the patio. We have to celebrate. Patio season. Oh, I'm so happy. It is just about 10 o'clock. Just got home. Such a nice night with Sarah. And then capped it off, stepping in a massive pile of mud this one foot, so I'm gonna wash this in the sink right now because that's so unfortunate. Let's see if I can remedy this. Okay, I think we did it. That's better. That was a close call. <laughs> Anyways, I am stuffed. So I'm gonna put on some PJs, read my book in bed, and I'll see you in the morning. I was just admiring the beautiful day. Like it is sunny, it is it's glowing in here. And then I'm coming down the stairs and there's a spider greeting me. I forgot that this is what happens when it gets nice out again. The bugs come back. And we don't love the bugs. I'm gonna have to do something about this. People are gonna get mad at me in the comments over killing the bug. Sorry. Oh, gross. Anyways, good morning. Today is gonna be a wonderful Tuesday. It's 9.25, a dentist appointment at 12. So that's kind of fun. I hate the dentist. I hate the dentist. And I have a great dentist. If I have to go to the dentist, that's where I'd want to go. But I just don't like going there. Anyways, whatever. But before that, I gotta finish editing my Arizona vlog. So I'm about to dive in and spend the next couple hours finishing that. Hopefully I can finish it in the next two hours and I can get it up before the dentist, but we'll see. Gonna do our best here. And then tonight I'm going to Noah Khan and I'm so excited. I love Noah Khan. I love Noah Khan. Like I will be screaming all of the words and I love the concert when I can actually sing all the words. It's way more fun that way. I'm also gonna make a strawberry matcha this morning to start the day. Look, this is so nice outside. When my house glows like this, I just know it's gonna be the best day ever. Simply, nothing can ruin the vibe, nothing. Okay, we're gonna make a strawberry matcha. I've never done this before, I've seen a lot of recipes though. We're gonna try our best and see how this turns out. I'm just gonna take, I think like four or five strawberries. This is a big strawberry. We're gonna go four strawberries. And then I'm gonna blend them with some oat milk and I think some sugar. I've seen people do this a few different ways. Some people are just using the strawberry Nesquik powder and that would be delicious. So if this is bad, I'm gonna go straight for the sugar. Oh, I actually love strawberries. Okay, strawberries are going in here and then I'm gonna top with milk. See how this goes. 
I really hope this ends up being as good as I'm imagining it being. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, now we're gonna make our matcha. I do have the whisk and everything, but I am going to attempt to make it the lazy way because it's a little later than I, I should have been starting my day. So we're just gonna go in for it as I take the extra step to make strawberry now. <laughs> Actually, I kinda wanna just try this. I'm not sure, I don't know. But I am gonna add a sweetener to my matcha now. I've decided I'm gonna add a pump of vanilla to this. We're just gonna give it its, its best bet. Okay, the time has come. Oh my God, oh my God. Moment of truth. Is it gonna taste like how I'm envisioning? Probably not. Probably not, but I could be wrong. Either way, cheers. No, I think it eats a strawberry nest quick. It's not bad, it just tastes really heavily fruity, which adds up. Maybe my watch is just bad. You know what, it's a work in progress. We'll try again another day. I'm gonna work in the office. I need peak productivity happening. And the office is where it's at. Do you see that lag? Like, that's so annoying. It's really frustrating. I turned off rendering. I got a ton of RAM. I got a ton of storage speed on the hard drive. I don't know how to fix it, but I will tell you it really slows down the editing. Like It's frozen again. <laughs> like it's really frustrating, especially because I like to cut quickly. Like, I mean, I'm sure anyone that edits understands how frustrating this is. Anyways, we're up here. It's 1030 now making good progress, but better progress would be if it didn't stop like this. Like it's wheel of death. Here we are. It's like every other time I cut something and like cut a clip out. Frozen. Didn't get to finish my video, unfortunately. It's a lag is destroying me. I gotta go to the dentist. So fun. Should take an hour max, I'm hoping, so I can still get the vlog up earlier afternoon. We'll see, but so it goes. It's so fun, so excited. Hello. Hello. Yes, how are you? One forty now. That is not the timing that I was hoping it was going to be. Definitely about. Uh, where are you? This? Teeth are feeling fresh though. We love that. Always love getting home from the dentist because I feel so clean. We're gonna make this pasta salad for lunch. It's like a cottage cheese pasta salad and it seems delicious. Okay, so the recipe says pasta, cucumbers, tomatoes, bell pepper, spinach, lemon juice, Italian dressing, oregano, cottage cheese, and salt and pepper. I'm just gonna throw in cucumber and my tomatoes and then also spinach, I guess. And we're gonna chop all of that while my water boils. And then I gotta get back to my computer ASAP. <laughs> Set seven minute timer. Go to the edge, rinse the pasta with some cold water, add a little of the Italian dressing, salt and pepper. And then we got the star of the show, cottage cheese. It's looking pretty good. Okay, let me just try it and see if I want to add anything else. Mmm. I'm gonna add more cottage cheese though. May as well. And then, do I want to add anything? Cajun. A little Cajun seasoning. That's gonna do it. Mmm. This is so good. And that was really easy. Like, took no time. 10 minutes. Mmm. You know what would have been really good also? Red onion. That would have been that would have been next level. Okay, I gotta go to the office. I'm gonna eat this upstairs, get my vlog done, and then we'll chat. Okay, 4 p.m. now, and I'm taking a quick pause 
to make a little shot of espresso. I think it's gonna be kind of late night, so I feel like this is safe to have at 4 p.m. Normally, I would never have any coffee after like two, unless I know that I'm having a bit of a night. And I'm having a bit of a night, so coffee right now feels safe. It's killing me how long this vlog is taking because of just the lag. It's taking me three times as long to get done, which is really frustrating, but we're getting close. And then I can get ready for my night. I'm actually really excited to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I don't know at all yet. Part of me is kind of thinking like I wanna wear a skirt. It's so nice outside. That's too cutesy. I also have this one. I wish I had a denim skirt because then I would for sure go denim on denim. But I have this skirt that I could wear with a denim jacket. Like that might be cute. We'll try some stuff on later. That actually might be the vibe. But for now, coffee. Okay, we are finally getting ready. I did put this on and then I think I'm gonna throw on an oversized denim jacket. I think that's gonna be the vibe for tonight. My vlog is uploading finally. It's actually kind of later, later. It's 5.45. That's kind of the latest I've ever uploaded a vlog. Actually, let me know in the comments when you usually watch vlogs and then also what time zone you're in. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to get ready as fast as possible so I can head out and then start the evening. It's got Friday energy in the air, which is dangerous because it is Tuesday. But I feel like going to a concert doesn't feel like Tuesday energy, you know? I'm gonna throw on some Noah Khan while I get ready, practice my lyrics so I can come in with full singing capabilities. <laughs> this i don't know if i like it i don't know if i like the jacket is my problem but i don't really want to I don't just go for my classic one i don't know i got no time i got no time i think i'm gonna go for the other one i gotta go my uber's here okay we're sticking with this we're going to no con <laughs> 